we are in a fight for the future of our country, for our very existence. And man, I guess I was proven even more right than I would have ever imagined because apparently, you know, Soros back Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg is actually indicting my father. So let's be clear, folks. This is like communist level shit. This is stuff that would make Mao, Stalin, uh, Pol Pot, it would make them blush. It's so flagrant. It's so crazed. When even like the radical leftists of the Washington Post are out there saying, it's not really based on facts. It's not really based on the law. It's not really based in reality, but it's 100% based on politics. When your enemies are saying that, it's got to tell you everything you need to know right now about where we are as a country. You see what's going on this weekend and the apologies for the trans shooter. You saw the press secretary, maybe. I know I tweeted about it earlier saying, we're really, we're really concerned about the trans community. Yeah, because it's them, right? It's them. So apparently this corrupt leftist DA is indicting my father on claims that even the federal government that spent six years trying to put him in jail, even they didn't want to touch it. And yet they go forward. Uh, so let's be very clear, because there are a couple of Republicans, people who have proven themselves to be rhinos while, you know, trying to wear the MAGA cap. Let's be clear for those people who said, it's not real. Trump's making it up. It's not a real issue for us. If you don't think that the weaponization of the entire federal government against their political enemies against the voters, half of the country, approximately, as we've seen. If you don't think that's a problem, you don't even belong in any position in government, let alone president. You know, I get you can have your sound bites and you can do your nonsense and pretend you're doing great and hire your influencers, but if you don't think that's an issue, guess what? Just wait till they come for you, because they will. We're in a battle for our existence. And this entire case <laughs> hinges on unreliable, discredited witnesses like Stormy Daniels, who I believe owes my father a couple hundred grand in legal fees because they lost. Uh, it hinged on disgraced, jailed, disbarred <laughs> clown lawyer Michael Cohen, along with a really shaky and murky legal theory surrounding campaign finance law. Again, that the people who actually look at campaign finance law, like the feds, they didn't even look at it. A state district attorney has no business prosecuting a federal campaign violation, but that doesn't matter. Who cares, guys? The law doesn't really matter if you can weaponize it against conservatives, if you can weaponize it against people who are going to take on the swamp. You know, notice they don't do this to the Biden administration or to the Biden family or to the Clintons or to any one of the corrupt Democrats out there that have made millions and probably billions where there's smoke like you wouldn't believe. It's not even a story. That's Russian disinformation as backed up by mainstream media, by big tech, by people from the intelligence community who know when they lie to you, when they lie to your face, there's no consequence, there's no nothing. Now, if it was the other way and you talk about the Biden administration, oh, you can't possibly do that. No, 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 it's only Trump. So this is weaponized justice at its absolute worst, okay? I've thought America was going on a downhill slope for quite some time, and that's why my father got in this game to fight back for the American people. When I see this, and when I see the weak need Republican response of, it's not really an issue yet, because it's not on you yet, but it will be. They've made that very clear. Look at what we saw just today. You know, the QAnon shaman released, released 14 months early after spending two years in jail unnecessarily, 
because the Democrats wouldn't release the exculpatory video that got him out of jail now. The guy did almost three years in jail for a nonviolent offense. And then it was shown that he was essentially escorted around the building. Can't show that video, can't give that to him. So that would get him out of it because that would actually clear everyone else who's been in jail. We had Joe McBride on here two weeks ago talking about just that, a lawyer who represents some of these jailed peaceful defendants. Now, they'll spend time in jail, but you know, if you burn down a building, if you kill David Dorn, yeah, you know, it's in the name of social justice, it doesn't really matter. It's different. So if you don't think that this is the weaponization of justice, if you don't think that there's a two-tiered system of justice, depending on which side of the political spectrum you're on, you haven't been watching. So again, this is me getting this information a few minutes ago. But if you're an American, not a Republican or a Democrat, and you don't see this for what it is, and you're not outraged about the insanity if you don't see this as sort of you know, the trumped up, pardon the pun, charges to try to do whatever damage you can to your political enemies, then you haven't been watching. And if you're a conservative, having seen everything we've seen transpire over the last six or seven years, and you still believe the nonsense, and you haven't been totally jaded by the media, by big tech, by the lies, by the Democrat party, then I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you because you haven't been watching or you're stupid. Honestly, if you don't see it for what it is at this point, I have no other response other than, man, you, you need a better education or you've been brainwashed by the radical left. The same people that tell you that it was the shooter this weekend and, and its community. That was the victim, not the six young Christians murdered in cold blood by a trans sociopath, fed every excuse, boosted by that same radical media and big tech who, God forbid you say something against them, you'll be canceled. We got to kowtow to every whim and every desire. Someone who's been turned into a freak show by getting jacked up with testosterone and meds in their youth before they could probably make these decisions. No, no, this is gonna be a wonderful result, folks. It's gonna keep getting better. It's not. It's only gonna get worse until we say enough is enough, until we call out this nonsense, until we all become unafraid to speak up against these injustices.